and they were yeah. satisfied doing what they were doing because the people were quite satisfied that bought the machines. Yeah, but the, but just to to clarify, the machines that the recreated machines that were created in this country and sold to the campers were not over unity. Over, they were these were over unity. They were over machines. unity, but they would burn out or they yeah because when right, the, because the brushes see, were the wrong size. Right. Well, see, this is the mistake everybody makes. It's one thing to be over unity, and it's one thing to be perpetual. So when people say to you, oh, you've invented a perpetual motion machine, no, you have not. There's nothing perpetual. Right. Something breaks here or there. You know, one day the sun burns out and the earth stops turning, so it's not perpetual either. Right. But they're calling it that. There's a confusion between what's over unity. When we talk about an over-unity machine, an over-unity machine self, it can run itself until the parts wear out and break, mm -hmm. which this did. But w the problem was they would then replace the brushes with, right, that was the with, problem. with American brushes, Delco brushes. No, these were all American brushes, okay. but, but they were filed. If you look at them with the... Uh, the most that I could run down is if you look at the brush, they had to file the brush to fit the segment of the commutator. So these are normal standard brushes. Right. But they're sanded down. Well, the people that own the machine figured, oh, it's just a pair of brushes and it's Delco Ramey and they put it in the machine and it wouldn't run. Right. If they would have sanded the brushes down, guess what? The machine would have ran again. So, if they'd sanded the brushes down, the machine would have run again. Yes, but if they, they would have. But right. they were buying new brushes. They were buying new brushes and didn't, Lockridge never told one of them, you know, that the brushes that he would use. So, so the clearances were too small? The clearances were too big, see, because, because, and that's a good question, because, see here, if you look, let me get my glasses here. If you look very carefully, this brush just fits. It fits between the the, the in the Yes, slot. yes. Right. But the, but the other new, brush would have been part way across this, shorting these poles out. But it would. But the new brush would have been the same width, surely. No, the new brush was much thicker. These are sanded. They were sanded to a thinness. Yes, this thinness. Okay, so the width of the brush was, was right. Lockridge sanded that down right, like a, to, to fit. Hold just a the second, slot. and I'll go get a generator, okay. and I'll show you the difference in the right. brush. Here, Tony, you can see right away what they did. Look at the size of the brush. See? Yeah. So, so, hold on a second. Do that again. See, it's over the commutator segments. Right, no, I, I see that. Let me see the, the uh, blockage one again. So, he's sanded it down. It's thinner. Yeah, to fit this. To exactly fit the slot. Yes. Here. Okay, so. <laughs> When they put the new brushes in, it wouldn't work. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So they, they so they sold the machine for copper. Yeah, that was his, that was his secret. Yes. Yeah. That's the secret that he kept. I wonder why he wouldn't have them come back and buy new brushes from him. Well, he was drunk. Good, good point. He was drunk all the time, right? And they figured, yeah. and he wasn't making them anymore. Yeah. He was busy chasing his wife. Yeah. Who was a floozy in town. Wow. Who he was going to get even with? So, anybody that works on a free energy device, you know, there's always a sad ending to this. I was going to say, what's the moral of the story? Well, the moral of the story is that you should have, he should have, they should, he should have stayed in business, kept selling replacement brushes, and everything would have been just fine. Be just fine, and forget it about, forget about, about chasing his wife, his wife. right? Yeah. Who he wasn't going to, you know, cure at all. Right. So. 
So is this particular machine an O-Unity machine? Yes. As is? Yes, if it runs. If, if it runs. you can get it to run. Yeah. 